Okay, Scorpio, welcome back to my Enigma Scorpio. This is Enigma Scorpio. Let's see what are the signs. Oh, <laughs> what are the signs for you that you must be careful about? What is the general message for you for today and tomorrow? This is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates with you, what doesn't resonate with Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in Scorpio or Cross Watchers. This is going to be your read. Do subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Do like, share, comment in the end to claim this. My lovely, pretty, cute, handsome, gorgeous Scorpios. What you don't see coming is someone, oh, someone extremely rich having an eye on you. If you already know who this person is, they're still watching you but cannot make a move towards you because you put an end to this as they were not sure, they were not able to make a decision in the recent past. So what you did is, I don't care about it, I'm going to move on. That's what you did. I feel like you also felt like this person was manipulating you. They thought you were going to be getting trapped in their drama like they did with other people but it didn't happen. So right now that you blocked this person they're so missing you they're like oh my gosh i want to meet this scorpio i want to talk to them because they're different this could be someone extremely rich scorpio or pisces or virgo taurus capricorn let's see the messages for you scorpio there you go four of pentacles scorpio i feel like you're keeping your energy reserved you don't want to express too much you don't want to go after too much you just lick you know you're you're you want to stay at one place and you don't want to be bothered so it's more like you want to keep your energy to yourself you're not finding anyone that suits your vibe that meets your standard or your status so you're kind of walking away from people and you're disappointed you're like when will i meet the person of my life that deserves me that i deserve so you have your soulmate definitely around you. It might take a little longer for some of you. It might take very quick for some of you. But it totally depends upon how fast you're taking things forward. How much efforts are you putting from your side? How positive your mindset is? Because the bottom of the deck is two of cups that's coming in the, in the near future. You will be dating someone. Right now, what you're doing and what you must do is focusing on your personal growth. I feel like you're also doing a lot over your appearance, like you want to do certain makeovers, buy some stuff and do a little changes on yourself, get a haircut or spa. It's just like you're self-pampering. You're doing things to make you feel happy and loved. So you're indulging in a lot of self-love activities. I'm also seeing your appearance is outstanding. These days, people are looking up to you and getting inspired in a way or other. You might be getting a lot of compliments when you're putting up pictures. So it's like your your beauty or your attractiveness is extremely eye-catching. Right now, you don't have time to focus on different things or different areas of your life because you're focusing on something major when it comes to your career. Like you might have a major project that you want to clear as soon as possible so you don't have time to lurk on other things. Okay, so I feel like you're somewhere stuck in your work and you are not able to manage the free time for yourself, which is not bad though. But I feel like this is what right now universe wants you to focus on your work. Okay, when something happens, it will happen out of the blue, unexpected. Expect a proposal coming in. Okay, there's a love proposal coming in, guys. Scorpio, there's a love proposal coming and someone is falling in love with you, but you're not aware of this or you're just ignoring this person. I feel like you don't like this person or you're blocking this person, but there is definitely someone that is coming towards you with a proposal or has just made a proposal, but you're like, um, maybe, maybe I need to think. That's what you're in. That's the energy that you're in right now. So this person is coming towards you with a new love, with a new beginning. And I feel like expect a proposal coming in. There is this person, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, any other sign rushing towards you. There's someone that is rushing towards you and you'll be like surprised at how much this person wants you. So eager for you, desperate for you. So there's someone definitely rushing in with desperation to have you in their life. So expect a proposal coming in. The Five of Swords. Oh my gosh. The Tower. 
someone is coming between you and the person of interest or it's just that you're not interested in this person so you might be breaking their heart by letting them know that you're not interested honestly okay I feel like either ways you must think for yourself and I feel like you are being selfish you are taking care of yourself you're not bothered about how other people are seeing this because it's your life and you want to be happy so right now I feel like um, either two things could be there that this person is extremely attracted to you that's for sure but either you're not attracted and you're releasing this person moving ahead okay or there are certain people that are creating chaos between you and this person and in both the cases you just want to release this you don't want any drama you don't want any conflicts it's not like this is the only person in the world that's how you see things right now so nine of wands and the judgment I feel there's someone that is freaking out in coming towards you with a proposal. I feel it's the same person that wants to make a proposal, but they can see you being way beyond their league. And this makes them scared. This makes them anxious. I'm also seeing this person is not very honest. When you ask about this person's character or a personality trait, I'm not seeing them being honest or genuine, but I'm definitely seeing them falling in love with you. So you know, like you can see people through their you know through their personalities and you can guess that this person is not fit for you and they might be feeling hurt that you left them and then you're moving forward you guys are releasing something i feel like you were holding on to should i should i not like there was a decision that you were making you were like should i give this person a chance but they're not in my league or should I move on to someone, something else, or I can wait for the right person to come in? I feel like you made a decision and the decision is about, I'm not going to give this person a chance. I would rather wait for the right person to kick in. So you're going to start a complete new cycle, a complete new chapter, sorry about that, complete new chapter in your life and not interested in something that doesn't bring you much. I feel like despite of you moving on, this person will still keep a track on you because they're so infatuated, they're so crazy about you. They love your life and I feel they want to be a part of it. But right now, it's important, Scorpio, that you come out in the open. Enjoy to your max because there's no one that's judging you. No one that needs to validate you or your happiness or your personality as a person who you are. You're going to live your life. This is a time where you're going to live your life to the full, to the max. Some of you is a Leo coming in. Someone I'm definitely seeing is chasing you. Okay. The emperor and the knight. There could be an older person, their father, or someone in the past that's still not done with you. Might create ruffles in your life by forcing you to date their their uh, their kid. Or maybe it's your father forcing you to date someone that you do not want to. Or it's the past person that's coming back and telling you that uh, I leak out your pictures. Or uh, they might be... You know, they might be threatening you in a polite way, in a subtle way that they will not let you move on. There's, there are certain people that you are not aware of that are obsessed with you and don't want you to move on in life. So I'm definitely seeing with the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, you have new beginning coming in. You may need to wait a little bit and be open to new options. There are a lot of people that will have an eye over your either body or your financial situation so make sure you're aware you are going to reject a lot of proposal on your way you're just bored you're bored of the wrong type of people coming towards you you may need to come out of your comfort zone guys okay what i'm seeing scorpio is that when you're in this energy of being bored with dating new people not finding the right match there will be a blast from the past I feel like unexpectedly this past person will message you and tell you that they miss you. How would you react to it? I don't know. They're still they're still waiting for the right time to reach out to you because they can they can focus on I feel like they know what's going on in your life and they know that you're becoming more and more and more and more successful and out there. And when they watch you, they feel extremely jealous. So there's someone from the past that goes to you is extremely jealous of your growth and wants to talk to you and date you again, but you're not interested. They can see you being happy wherever you are. Your money is growing for sure, Scorpio. I feel like there might be a promotion or a, 
a reward coming in for your work okay give it like two more months i feel like scorpio what i'm seeing over here is that it might take a little bit more patience because your person is not going to come easy they will come after a little bit of hidden trials it's not like i'm not going to be dishonest with you if i'm not seeing this i can't tell you that the next person is the one what i am seeing over here is that you might have to go through certain clicks okay and then hidden trials after that you have this one person that's just completely crazy about you that's how you meet this person they will be in love this could be a long distance for some of you here page of pentacles they're coming towards you slowly oh my gosh you have two options coming in both are good both are good both are shy both are good both are interested but you're going to be a strict person okay and then we have the king and queen of swords oh a lot of people are involved in deciding who you should be with who you should not be with somewhere i feel like you're involving close friends or family in this matter but the decision should be strictly yours because you will have a lot of people coming in but i feel like you're going to date someone that is an academician I feel it. Yeah. Could be a Taurus or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming in. Pay attention to the red flags. You might be interested in this person. They might be interested in you. But there will be people that are bringing in problems. In the end of the day, I'm not seeing this is your soulmate. The soulmate is someone that will come into your life, sweep you up, and there will be nothing that will cause this drama okay that you are going through or you might go through honeymoon heart, heart to heart so you guys will have a lot of conversations from heart and there will be a lot of dating going on and i feel you will know when this person comes into your life this is not the right time now i want to see for you scorpio who is this person actually like what is their true personality This person is a teacher or a guide of some kind. They like to give directions or guide people like what is right and which way you should go, which way you shouldn't. That's the person, a counselor, that kind of a person you might be dating, role soul. And that is your soulmate. I feel like you might need to be patient, guys. Scorpio can't rush, can't rush into things. This person is also an environmentalist or loves stability and is extremely grounded and down to earth personality. They love animals. They might be spiritual, linked with animals somehow. Yeah, see? They're a they're a business person or they're a boss or some sort of a leadership they have. They're a counselor or a teacher but have their own college or institution for some of you it's like that. This person has great body. Yeah. Or they like to keep themselves fit. Okay, by exercising. I feel like this person could be an entrepreneur or freelancer because they don't like to work under someone, I feel. Could be a speaker or a builder into real estate for some of you. And that's the kind of a person you're attracting. Any channel message for Scorpio? I left when I saw you with someone. There's someone in your mind that you're still hurting over or you still have really angry feelings for because this person was extremely materialistic. They cheated on you and you saw it. And you do think about this person now and then, not so much, not even care about this person, but you st still do have them somewhere in your energy. So you've decided to let this person go because they're not your future. Okay? This person... Uh, was blaming you for all that they did wrong and you're very angry about this you just do not want to forgive this person no matter what so if there is any kind of hate or hurt feeling just forgive and move on be a light person don't keep harsh feelings for anyone and then we have create space for new love. Right now, it's really important to let go of something that hurt you in the past so that you can allow full energy to embrace this new love that wants to be loved and respected fully by you. 
Who is this person that's going to be your soul? That is your soulmate, not going to be. Who is your soulmate, Scorpio? My gosh. Very well respected in society. Has a big, huge name. You may need to fo follow a little forward. You need to go a little forward to basically end up meeting this person. This could be a doctor. There is a long distance connection. You might need to shift with them. Okay. Certain wealth. This person is extremely rich. They make a lot of money. Oh, obviously they're a doctor. It'll come to you as a gift and their mother is going to be super excited to bring you guys to each other. She is someone that's going to be like the matchmaker for you guys. Okay. So right now it is important that you set an intention, visualize it as much as you can because there is a very strong possibility of whatever you try to visualize, it will all come into picture, it will all come into reality. So make sure visualizing bright. You will be extremely proud to have this person in your life because everybody will be like, oh my God, the Scorpio is so lucky to have been dating this person. They might come from a different religion, different background. You guys stop going back and forth and repeating the same old cycle. Even though you got over the past, you might end up repeating the same cycle like you did in the past. So here there's a message very strong coming from the universe that learn from it and do not make the same mistake. You need to come out of your comfort zone, do something different or first of all, disconnecting energy from the past. Second, you need to go out more or do something different where you can meet different types of people, okay? You might be too much of an introvert or you're just doing the same old thing always. Nothing is yet set in stone. Whatever you want, you can manifest it. So if you want something good to happen to you, you may need to bring about good changes in your life first. Bigger picture. Is it happening right now? No. Make some changes if you want something to come for you that stays for a long time. The thing... The kind of a person you want, you have to first become that. So own your divine power. What is your true quality? Bring that out and express that fully and socialize. See, socializing is important because a lot of people are going to be impressed by the different layers you are having, the different personalities that you carry or the talents that you are having. You're just too hidden. I feel like you, you guys are too much hidden. And a lot of people don't know your true qualities. And that's what you need to bring out in the open to be loved and find new friends. You're going to make a lot of friends. A lot of money coming in. Abundance coming in. Okay. Happiness, marriage, kids. Everything that you want is coming in. That brings a lot of confidence. You might date a Aquarius right now. A Capricorn. A Gemini. Or... A Sagittarius. These are some signs that you might date in this period. Okay. One last message I'd like to pull. It is important right now to take a step back. Some things might not be happening right now or too stagnant according to your will. But it is important that instead of placing focus on someone coming towards you or not, doing things the way you expect them to do or not you do it for yourself give yourself more importance love yourself treat yourself well pamper yourself okay this is the time for you to take care of yourself that's the message for you then we have opportunity if one opportunity fails you have another coming up so there will be endless opportunities for you to explore from so don't you worry about not having anyone in your life or just being bored the same things one last advice for my beautiful Scorpio if this is resonating and helping you in a way do not forget to comment below and I do love to read your comments because they're so positive they energize me as well and do like this video so that you can claim it and help more and more people get help subscribe for more stuff and then set healthy boundaries. You guys, I feel like it's very important that whenever there is someone coming towards you, no matter who is this person, you don't want to be taken advantage of. Nobody wants to. 
so already when someone comes in right off the bat try to set a healthy boundary they should know what exactly doesn't go fit with you show it through your actions and that should set a boundary that should set a norm and this person will never hurt you like that whoever comes in so healthy boundaries and your spirit guides are around you will give you a lot of repeating numbers especially 11s that will give you a hint that either you're going the right way or you need to wait and think about things okay so these are some messages that i'm getting for you scorpio i hope you take it in your stride i wish you all the best and don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the notification bell and share it on your whatsapp this video so that more and more scorpios can get help i'll see you again i wish you all the best i love you all bye